no idea what to expect and then all of a sudden when come find out who was behind it all and the action sequences the kill scenes were everything was fixed. I thought it was classic horror. I liked the movie because it hasn't been done before. I mean yes and no. But it was fresh ideas. I like yeah. I like how the, the the composer went back to the eighties with some of the composing music. Yeah. Scenes and the sequences that were in there. I, I, I like the whole big house and all the little trap doors. And stuff. I love that. Uh, great movie. If you want to go see it, comes out this weekend. Definitely a must see. Yeah, a must see. No, I don't, I don't know about the, that one, but I haven't seen The Conjuring yet. Have you? The Conjuring was a good one too. If you want something to ask. Well, you've seen that. What you think about that? One? I thought that was a good one. Nice, real, uh, based on a true story, uh, and it was good based on. Uh, Paranormal events, spirits, bad situation happened in the house, and uh, people, you know, just were engulfed by you know different spirits and ghosts. But I mean, kind of long. Not as you know, I don't think it was as good as this one. I definitely thought this one took the cake. And and you know what? The, at the beginning of the movie, my, uh, my buddy, my co-host Skip, got kicked out of the kicked theater. Kicked out of the movie. Kicked out of the theater for himself. Had Come on, nice. Skip. Seriously, buddy. Come on, Skip. But make sure you check out Best Damn Movie Show Monday nights. Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock at 8 p.m. Talkshoe.com. We're going to give you the whole rundown of the whole weekend, box office reviews, DVD and Blu-ray releases, movie news, anything else comes to mind. Go on there or email me, bestdamnmovieshow at yahoo.com. And as always, we'll see you at the movies. At the movies. <laughs>